Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, Wooden Railway Stories, Episode 40, Grumbling Grandpa. Episode suggested by Oiz 894WR. Peter, Sam, Sir Handel, and Scarloe were sitting at Knapford Station with Catherine. Coldy's coach when Duke puffed in. Ah, <sighs> do I have to take Catherine too? asked Duke. Well, we're waiting for Coldy to come back. Yeah, Coldy's supposed to come back today. So some of us decided to wait at Napper for him. We still gotta get the jobs done today. I already took my train. You guys need to take your trains too. Not today. We've decided to give ourselves a day off. Yeah, we want to see Coldy. But if you guys give yourself the day off, who's gonna do your work? I don't know. We didn't tell Sir Topham Hat yet. So I have to do all this. Great. I better get going. Ugh. Oh, Grandpa, stop grumbling, said Sir Handel. Yeah, said Peter Sam. Ah, oh, I have to do all this work. I have a reason to grumble, as Duke puffed away. Grumbling, said Duke. I have a reason to grumble. I'm the only one doing my work. Scarlowy, Peter Sam, Sir Handel, they all should be doing their work. Instead, I'm doing their work and Coldy's. Oh, if only Coldy was here, he'd at least do it. Oh. Well, there's Wellsworth. At least I'm almost here. And as he pulled off, he saw a familiar face. Hello, Sir Topham Hat. And Coldy, what are you doing here? Hello, Duke. Sir Topham Hat told me to meet him here at Wellsworth. Well, all the engines are waiting for you at Natford. Oh, who's all waiting there? Well, Sir Handel, Peter Sam, Scarlowy. Some of the other engines are in the sheds. Why are they all doing that? Well, they decide to give themselves the day off. Give themselves the day off, but but why? They said since Coldy's coming here, they want to see Coldy. Oh, well, that's nice of them. I guess it's nice, but they still have to work. We got an island to run. I know, that's why I'm taking Catherine. I wasn't even supposed to. I was done with my jobs for today, but I decided to take Catherine. Well, thank you. You've given me the day off, and it'd be nice to just recuperate. I was going to give you the day off anyway, said Sir Topham Hatt. But these engines, what should we do with them? How about this, said Duke. I've got a plan. And Duke soon told the plan to the other two. Coldy and Duke soon arrived at the sheds. Coldy popped into the sheds. All right, said Sir Topham Hatt. Plan one, working. They'll never decide to come and look here. Coldy, you can spend time with all the other engines while you're here. Look, everybody's here to talk to you except for the three that, well, decided not to do what they were supposed to. Come on, sir. Let's go. Duke puffed forward, and Sir Topham Hat hopped on in. Let's go to Natford, said Duke, and they puffed away. Duke soon puffed back into Natford. Hey, Duke, said Peter Sam. Do you know where Coldy is? No clue. Soon Sir Topham Hat came out. Oh, hello, engines. What are you all doing here? Oh, today's supposed to be the day Coldy comes back. Peter, Sam, Scarlow, and I were waiting for Coldy. What about your jobs? Did you finish them? Oh, sir, we were going to do them tomorrow. But they're supposed to be done today. We decided we'd take the day off, you know, for Coldy. Well, let me tell you where you went wrong. What do you mean, sir, said Sir Handel. Well, for one, even if Coldy's coming today, he's still got to work. Okay, I guess we can figure our jobs into today, but what's the other problem? The other problem is Coldy's not coming today. But we were sure about it. We had a countdown and everything. Well, your countdown was wrong. It's a week from today. So what does that mean? That means you got to finish all of your undone work. But, sir, along with everybody else's work. But everybody else is done. What I mean by that is tomorrow you have to do everybody else's work, just like Duke had to do extra work today. Ah, thank you, sir. A nice deserved day off. Come on, Duke. Let's go back. Okay. And Duke puffed forward and Sir Topham Hat got in. After a long and busy day, trying to prepare for the next day, the three engines puffed home. Man, said Sir Handel, today was a hard day. And I can't believe Coldy's not here. Yeah, he was supposed to be here. Well, I'm tired. Time to go to sleep. You're right, said Scarlowy. And three puffed forward when they saw Duke. They also saw Sir Topham Head in a familiar face. 
Coldy, what are you doing here? I was supposed to come today, remember? But Sir Topham had... Sir Topham had said you weren't supposed to come today. Aha! Duke and I tricked you. Of course, with the help of Coldy. Yeah, we tricked you. But why would you do that? We waited all day for you to come. That's exactly why we tricked you. You can't take an entire day off of work just to wait for a friend to come. We're sorry, sir. Next time, try to approve it with me before you do it. Ah, uh, don't worry, you guys. Not too much work tomorrow, so you guys will be able to talk with Cody tomorrow. Don't worry about that. Well, I better get going home. I'll see you guys later. And Sir Topham Hat left. Oh, Cody, said Peter Sam. It's so good to see you again. Oh, it's so good to see you guys, too, said Cody. Well, I haven't told all my stories yet. Do you guys want to hear? Of course we do, said Scarlowy. And Cody soon told some of his stories.